Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. Today I've got some Avery L products to share with you. I've got some pigment inks from their new line that just released and a stamp set called All Squared Up. First thing I'm going to do is take that honeycomb looking stamp and I'm going to adhere it to my block and because I'm going to be stamping this several times in a row and I want it to be lined up, I'm going to be using my stamp -a magic so I've got some Strathmore watercolor paper because I'm going to be using an aqua painter later. Now your stamp -a comes with a plastic sheet and a black handle. So you're going to line it up in the corner and then you're going to stamp your image. I'm using the raspberry ink. And then you can just keep using this uh, plastic sheet over and over again. So the first thing I'm going to do is raspberry. And put a little scratch sheet underneath there so I don't get my craft mat dirty. And then I'm going to clean my stamp off and use that same um, plastic sheet to line it up. And that's called Fizz. And then every uh, couple of images that I stamp, I'm going to clear emboss it because the pigment ink stays wet um, for a period of time. And that gives you plenty of time, actually, um, to put some clear embossing powder on there. And then you get a raised surface. And also, because I'm going to be watercoloring, it's going to be easier to stay in the lines if you have an embossed edge. Okay, so that I did, let's see, the yellow is like a mimosa, I think it's called. And then we have sea glass. And then I'm going back to my raspberry. So I'm just going to repeat the raspberry, the fizz, and the mimosa. And heat emboss all of those images. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some ink on my craft sheet here. And I'm going to use an aqua painter. And I'm going to grab the ink with the brush and I'm going to start in the lower left hand corner on all of these honeycombs. So um, you'll see the ink comes out really dark at first and then it lightens up as you move toward the right and that kind of gives you a, um, some dimension. Now if you have to dip your brush again, like see I just dipped it twice there, you want to make sure that you always start on the left in the dark area because if you start in the right then you're going to mess up your dimension. You want all of these to look the same. So I'm going to do all of the raspberry ones first. Okay, and then now I'm going to switch over to the Fizz. And actually, I switched Aqua Painters. I forgot I had bought a new one. My old one was kind of dry. And this one actually was too wet. So sometimes you have to mess with it a little bit. It has a little bit too much water. You can wipe it off on a tissue until you get it just right. So same technique all the way across. And I'm going to do this for all the colors. And here I am wrapping it up with the last one, the sea glass color. Next I'm going to work on the sentiment. I'm using the circle and the sentiment from the same set. And all of the sentiments on the set fit inside this little circle. And I'm going to stamp it and then put the sentiment inside. And actually I didn't like the way it came out so I'm going to re-stamp it. And this time I'm going to use my stamp -a jig and I'm just going to hold it in place. You'll see. So once I get it down there on the paper I hold it and I take it off and I determine if I have to stamp it again. And I didn't have to in this case, but you would be able to stamp it right on top because you had already lined it up with the stamp -a jig So I'm going to cut around because I don't want the, um, the uh, kind of lines on the edge there. So I just cut out the middle portion. And then I took a marker and inked up the edges just in case I didn't uh, cut it exactly right on that black line. And I'm just figuring out where I'm going to put it. I have a pierce mat and a paper piercer by Stampin' Up. And I'm going to just poke a little hole there for my embroidery thread. So I'm going to thread it in one side and out the other side. And then I'm going to take some uh, dimensionals, which is foam adhesive. I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces to fit because I want this to pop up. So I'm going to place it right where I want it and then wrap the uh, thread around either side. I'm going to adhere it on the back with some tape runner. And then finally I'm going to adhere this to a piece of uh, Hero Arts black cardstock which is white on the inside so it's great for using when you want a, a black base. And that pretty much wraps it up. So um, love these new pigment inks by Avery L. Uh, they work great with water and they're really pretty. So hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.